Bonjour mon petit pois, how are you? I hope that you are all well. I'm just gonna shut the windows in here because I'm gonna film my whole video in here today and sometimes when they're open it can be a bit noisy outside. That window is stiff. Um, so today's video is going to be a chatty, crafty video. I'm actually working with Cricut and I'm gonna show you some of the things I have been loving and making. Uh, but I thought we'd have a bit of a chat as well. So part of the chat is gonna be me getting ready. Am I in short? Yes. Um, so I'm just gonna have a little tidy up to make everything look nice. Just so you know, whenever you see a video shot in this room, I want you to be aware of something. Down the bed here is where I just put all the mess. Like if there's something messy on my bedside table, I just pick it up and put it down there. Um, laptop is just sorting out a memory card because I think we're going to go a bit snaz for this video. I think I'm going to do a dual camera um, because I'm going to get my table out and I want you to have like a bit of an up close on some of the stuff that I am making. The truth of the matter is I have had this a little while and I have been making quite a lot of things with it. At first I thought, oh, I'll just make labels. Um, and then when I realized it had a lot more capability than just labels, I started to make little stickers, um, I started to make little presents, I started to make cards. So I thought what we would do today is make a card and a present, uh, but the present will show you how you might do labels, because I think at the moment labels are very popular. Everybody's wanting to like jazz up um, all of their storage. Um, it's a bit of a trend that I'm seeing on Instagram and TikTok. So I'll show you how you would do that with the joy. Uh, and I'll also show you how to make a card. Um, I've just realized I actually need to plug this in if I want to make it work. So BRB babes. Great thing is it comes with quite a long wire. Um, and also it's not very heavy at all. So you can just cart this all around the house if you want to. I've used it upstairs, I've used it downstairs she's waking up um, and you can get things like little carry bags that have space for all your bippets and boppets as well before I get too carried away on all the things I want to talk to you about I'm going to start on my first project and that is going to be a gift for one of Darcy's dance teachers I'm going to make her like a little sign that she can have on her desk or in her home a bit of decor uh, it's just this acrylic um, stand here this acrylic show piece <laughs> if you want to call it that with a little wooden block I just picked it up at a craft store so I'm going to use that and I'm also going to use some of the Cricut Smart Vinyl Permanent and it's really lovely like bubblegum pink colour uh, I'm going to use my Smart Joy I'm going to use my app on my phone uh, and I will also use a couple of the Smart Tools as well um, because they make life so much easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my Cricut Joy app and I am going to want to film this. Cricut Joy, very easy to use, which I appreciate because I'm not super, super tech savvy. Project types, I'm going to go for uh, quick starts, let's see, quick labels, and I'm actually going to design your own. You can do ready to make. Let me just quickly show you the ready to make. Where's my labels? So if you wanted to do these, they already have like loads of samples, which is what I started off on. Um, but now that I've been doing a few more, I'm going to go on design my own. And I want to go on vinyl stickers and decals. Start designing. Uh, portrait. Now, I am going to eyeball this because I actually did one last night. So I know roughly how big it is. I'm going to say next. I know it's around that size. And then I'm going to start adding my text. Now I'm going to do a funny one. Um, I'm going to put, I want that to be lowercase, and then point. But I'm spelling point like the ballet way because it's such a lols lols joke. We're going to choose our um, font. I prefer the curly sort of fonts. Let's see what they've got. That. I think I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to make it a bit bigger like this, pop it there, that's a, um, could that be bigger, I'm going to go as big as I can and I'm going to say yes to you and then I also have space here, this is showing me that I still have space so I'm going to add some more 
Um, let's see what we can add. I'm going to see if they have any designs for ballet, as you can see in my search, uh, search history there. I have already done some ballet themed projects. Let's see what we have got here. They're really nice, but again, quite thin lines. Uh, oh, that's on point feet, so that might be quite nice. Um, should we go for those or shall we go for those? I think we will go for those. That's a yes. I'm going to make, uh oh, hang on, a little tiny bit fiddly, just going to take those. Um, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to say yes, done. I'm happy with that. And now it is time to choose my material. It's really easy to work out what material you're using because it says it on the box. So this says smart vinyl permanent. So I just have to line that up with here, smart vinyl permanent. And then I don't need a mat because it's the Cricut Joy. I don't need to mirror it because it's not an iron on. So I am ready to make it. So satisfying to watch this. And then it's saying complete here, so you can press unload and it will release it from its little feeders on the side. I'm trying to show the close up camera that you can kind of see the design, but I don't know if it's gonna pick it up with a reflection. But the first thing I do is peel off the majority of the sticker. It will leave behind the cutout bits, but just go slow and steady. The more care you take, the better your results are going to be. So it's quite satisfying, but don't rush it. Just go slow and steady, especially when you've done quite a lot of cutting like I have. If you need to use your little weeding tool, you can. I'm gonna be using this a lot more as I go on. As you can see now, we have a clear idea of our design, but the inner bits of some of the details need removing. And that's when this little weeding tool really comes in handy. What you do is you just very carefully poke it in and then pick up the innards like that. Once you have your design looking exactly how you're gonna to want to have it looking on the thing that you're making, you want to get your transfer tape out. Now, in theory, you could pull this off and stick it on, but because it's so fiddly, it is much better to use transfer tape because it keeps it all exactly in the position you want it to be and it helps you not get lumps and bumps. I learned that the hard way the first time I did it, trust me. So transfer tape is gonna be like your best friend. This is the thing that I use the most because I've made quite a few projects. And what you wanna do is you wanna measure it out to the amount you're gonna use. Just rough eyeball it. I know I'm gonna use about that much. And then I'm gonna cut my piece so that I'm not using a massive piece um, and wasting and making it hard for myself. Then you wanna peel your transfer tape off the backing paper and place it carefully over the design. And then using this little tool, you want to push on it really hard. This is actually a very good craft if you're feeling a little bit frustrated, or if you've got a lot going on, you can just take it out on your craft, let it all out, and you get something beautiful at the end of it. Oh my goodness, the feeling that you get when you have transferred it all is amazing. So. We don't need this anymore, and I'm gonna take my little uh, screen here, and I'm gonna very carefully place it on. Now, this is the bit uh, that you wanna get right, because once it's on, it's on. Let's just put you there. Um, okay, wish me luck. I'm gonna have to do my concentration face for this badger. Oh my goodness. What you want to do is kind of the same process again. You want to rub that on. You don't have to do it as hard as the, as the transfer tape. You still need to push it pretty well. I will use my little tool again, um, but I'm not going to go too hard because I'm mindful that I don't want to damage the thing that I'm transferring onto. Once I think I've pressed it on enough, I'm just going to do a couple of little checks and I'm pulling at a 45 degree angle. I'll turn myself around so you can see in the close up here. So just very carefully but firmly pulling a diagonal from the design. Come on. She's looking good. I love this. I 
think this is so fun. There's so much more you could do with it. You could get some acrylic paint and put it on the back of the um, of the screen so that it really shows up the writing. I made one yesterday with Darcy for one of her friends and we stuck little paper mache flowers all around the edge, which was really effective, which was really pretty. Or you don't even have to do it on screen. I have done this exact project on a pencil case for Pearly. I have done it on a snack box that she took on the flight. And I even printed off some, uh, like a big label, like I wrote Pentland very large, and a sticker in the shape of a plane for our luggage. So that when we went away, when it was on the carousel, I always have this fear that someone's going to take our luggage thinking it's theirs. So I thought I'll just personalise it a little bit. Um, but this is going to be such a lovely little thank you gift at the end of the year for one of Darcy's ballet teachers. I'm going to pop that to one side and I'm going to pop my vinyl to one side as well because I think what we're going to do now is a paper craft and I think we're going to make a thank you card. Um, I've got a couple of different card packs here but I'm going to go for this one because it has some really nice colours in it. I really like the pastels and the holographic. So we're going to open this bad boy up. Holographic inserts, yes. So we're going to go for the pink card, holographic insert, and then also, as with any card, an envelope. I'm also going to be using my Cricut Joy card mat. And I'm going to have to move my uh, secondary camera because I was propping it up on the Joy. So even if you don't use it for crafts, it's a wonderful tripod. Uh, but I'm not sure that's the messaging I'm supposed to be giving you in this video. So I'm going to plug my little baby in. And once again, I'm going to go on my phone. I'm going to go in my app and I'm going to pick a design that I want to make. So I've decided to go to ready to make insert cards and there are so many cards but a little tip for you is to use the magnifying glass and go for what you want. So I've already checked as you can see <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for teacher and I am going to pick one that I think she will like. I like this thanks for helping me grow one. That's nice. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for thanks for helping me grow with an apple on. That's very, like, teachery, isn't it? Next. So it's telling me my next step here is to insert the card and I need to use my Cricut Joy mat. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. I'm going to carefully feed it through. We are measuring and loading. It's asking me if I have the blade in and I do. The blade is just here. Looks like that. So that's already in and secure. And I can press go. I was going to say that this is the best part, watching it all be done, but it's not. I'll tell you the best part in a minute. That looks so cool. Let me show you up here. You've been getting a lot of super close ups down there, but can you see the design is already in there? Um, so carefully peel the card from the mat, um, etc, etc. So I'll just show you what we're going to do. We're going to very carefully peel the card from the mat, as it said, and we're going to use our tool to help us if we need to. But as with the first project, the trick is to go slow and steady. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. That is so cool. Right, I'm going to put this to one side. I'll show you what we do that in a second. We're going to take our holographic insert. Oh, I'm so excited to see what this looks like. Oh, okay. If we've got any little bits that haven't come out, you can just take those out. That one just came out with my fingers. But if you wanted to use your weeding tool, um, you could. Time to put the holographic part in. So, it's all measured out for you. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I get so excited for these things, but I just love it. I can't wait to give this to a teacher and just be like, I made that. I am just so happy with this card. I'll show it here to the close-up um, camera. How gorgeous is that with the holographic look to it? I think that is so pretty. Um, and it fits perfectly in the accompanying envelope. So all that's left for me to do is to write that card and then maybe 
put it with this or gift wrap it in some way um but i'm really happy with that i think i think that's a lovely little personalized gift set for somebody um and it didn't really take a lot of time when i'm not explaining it as well i can do them really fast yeah i'm excited to have this in my life um let me know what projects you've done or that you've seen done with them initially i didn't think that it could do as many things as it can and now i've like fallen into the world of Cricut machines and like the algorithm on things is serving me a lot of content about it. I'm seeing a lot of things and I'm getting very excited. So watch this space. Um, I've recently just bought the girls matching suitcases and I want to customise those. I'm just imagining that little Instagram shot of them like looking over their shoulders with their matching suitcases with their like initials on or an image or something. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this. I think crafting for me is self-care and productive, which is my favourite kind of self-care because I'm one of those people that like, I don't rest easily. I don't like doing nothing. I always want to be doing something. Um, and so often I end up just doing tasks and work and housey stuff. Um, but doing this is like good for my soul because it fulfills that like calming, creative satisfaction side. Uh, but also come out with it some, some, uh, but also come out with something nice at the end so it's quite good for me um i'll leave all the links below for you i hope that you're feeling well as well i don't know if it's the weather or just oh, my own personal journey that i'm starting to come out well i really feel like i'm fully coming out of this fog that i was in last year and for some of this year so yeah hope you've enjoyed a bit of a crafty video we haven't had one of these in a while should we have some more? Maybe we could do some more Cricut stuff or we could do some other craft stuff. I've got a lot of supplies downstairs that I really should be using up because you know what will happen. It will get to autumn and then the crafty bug will really kick in. Anyone else feel like that? Autumn is like peak craft time and then Christmas will come. Oh my god, the things I could do with this for Christmas. First of all, Christmas cards, obviously. But could I make like little tags? Like present tag oh <laughs> we've started now let's not talk about christmas just yet it is still summer all right i will let you go um i hope you've enjoyed this video i've certainly enjoyed filming it and making it uh, i'm going to tidy up or maybe i might just make another quick card uh and i will see you all in my next video links and info and resources below thanks for watching leave a friendly comment and i'll get back to you bye